Growing up, I never saw anyone who looked like me on the silver screen. I never really saw people who looked like me walking the streets of my neighborhood either. The closest my sister got to seeing herself on screen was the Yellow Power Ranger, or Jackie Chan. Seishu Hayakawa is widely considered to be Hollywood's first sex symbol. Hayakawa was born in Japan, but moved to the U.S. in order to attend college. While here, he fell in love with acting and decided to pursue a career in Hollywood. By 1915, he was one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. Anna Mae Wong was born to Chinese immigrants in Los Angeles, California in 1905, and by the 1920s, she was an internationally renowned actress and fashion icon. Both are then-household names who are virtually unheard of nowadays. Seshu fell prey to the anti-Japanese sentiment in pre-World War II America, forced into damaging portrayals of sexually aggressive and dangerous Japanese men. Tired of the lack of variety in the roles available to him, in 1918 he started his own production company, which ended when a distributor argued with Hayakawa, calling him a derogatory slur. Anna Mae Wong faced similar stereotyped roles, those of submissive victims and sly villains, rarely the lead and never the love interest. This was in part due to the 1930 Motion Picture Production Code, which held strict rules against any portrayals of interracial relationships. Wong eventually attempted to flee the fetishization and Orientalism in America by first moving to Europe and then touring in China. Both Hayakawa and Wong were movie stars in their own right, in a time when Asian wasn't welcome in America. They were forced to portray stereotypes or play support to their white co-stars in Yellowface. In the hundred years since then, how much can you say we've actually progressed? Hollywood no longer has the racist rules of its production code, yet white actors continue to be cast in Asian roles. Seeing is believing, and that's why representation is so important. Representation and visibility have a huge effect on what we envision to be possible because they provide tangible proof of our own possibility.